Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Monster Hunter World. I'm your host, Seaside. And right now, we're going to go ahead and take on a quest that we haven't done before. We should have done in the beginning of when we started Iceborne. I'm so sorry about that. And before we accept the Velkana quest, I'd like to do this one. And this is going to help us out probably in the fight. So let's go ahead and get right to it. Okay. Today I'm feeling okay. It's my hands are a little flaring up here and there. As you can see, this is our uh, mission right here. Our bow bow friends. We're gonna have to hunt down a temper bear to this. First, we need to lure it out using its favorite snap, Popo. Then we'll ambush it. We need to guide the Popo to the designated area through smart manipulation. Do not kill the Popo, just hurl some rocks to guide it to where you want to go. Okay. Instructions, as all. Okay. Let's go ahead and get this going. So the Bobo -bo is kind of like the Gadgetlaka is in all the recess, except that uh, they're in the Horfrost Reach. This is their region. Oh yeah, let's grab some stone to guide it. Okay. So... There you go. Yeah, I just threw a rock at it. Come on. Alright, let's say follow the popo. Okay. It's kind of weird like, hanging out with these little creatures. <laughs> Let's see where it's going to go. Uh. Operation Guide the Popo Successful. Everyone stand by. Okay. And what are they doing? They're letting that smoke. Okay. Oh, God. Here we go. Should be a very easy fight, you guys. As you can see, the difference between this uh, monster and the uh, normal monster, the tempered, um, it's a bit shinier and it hit harder than your usual uh, monster that you encounter. And they have a little bit more moves, too, so. They're a little bit quicker on the attacks, too, so. Right now, it's got to break the parts. Oh my god. Let's see. I can actually get the to this part. Let's break the horn, shall we? Alright, sweet. Should be a very easy fight, guys. Very easy. At this level. All 
Alright, let's go ahead and quickly sharpen up a weapon. I'm not too biggy on the materials, so like... Or you should go ahead and pick it up just in case. Because I can, I know it. The, the parts are not any different from the temper monster, from the more normal. It's okay. Um, however, let's uh, keep picking up those uh, materials. Just for you guys. And the footprints. You can unlock temper investigation if you keep picking up the footprints. Alright, here we go. I think it's just uh, ice shield. It's going. Stop that! Come on. Oh my God, dude. Oh shit, this is not good. As you can see, the Temper Monster is actually a little bit quicker under attacks. Oh, fuck. Man, he's not fucking around. And he's gonna die. Ooh, here we go. Let's quickly do that. Alright. Knock that shit off. Why don't you just die already? Alright. Alright, so we got good, what, 20 more minutes left for our next episode, which is the. Uh, not episode, next match, which is uh, Belkana. So let's go ahead and quickly waste some time shopping up our weapons and get there. Let it go to sleep, and then we'll capture it. Alright, so this will be not the final episode for Monster Hunter World or Iceborne, but this will be the conclusion of where Valkana is slain, obviously. But there will be more stories to come at the end after that. And yes, there is another ending. Like all Monster Hunter games. Alright, so. We got our um, objective done. So what this means is that we are going to get a Palico equipment. To actually help us out through the fight. Instead of like going to the actual felines to get help. You can actually use their SOS to call any Palico felines in the field and come to you. 
which is really useful anyways. So let's see what we got. We got a boba bar ticket. Nice. Alright. So let's see the conclusion of the story of Boba Boy. Let's see. Let's see. Here we go. We thank you, brave warriors. You could not have done this without your assistance. As a token of appreciation, please accept this item. It's a tool to summoning friends. You all, you need all the help you can get out there. Thank you so much. So they were partners now in combat. So like the Gachalakas, they will be helping us out whenever we, uh, not, like, not, not luckily in the mountain, uh, like, you know, you ride on the mo monster. It's basically you come up to them to, if you see the Gachalak on the ledge, um, the Boa Boa, for this instance, will throw the spear and knock it down. So here we go, tell Raider signal. We got everything we needed. And let's see. Let's go ahead and return from the expedition and get on with Belkana. All right. Oh yeah, I forgot. We gotta level up Boba too. I forgot about that. But I think the more time we use our uh, friend SOS, uh, the tail, ra tail raider signal, we you can actually level up more often now. So this is gonna be real cool. So let's go ahead and accept the quest for Valkana, which is this. Thank you. And this time we get to slay it. Here we go. Oh, Tora, you, you have urgent news? Yeah. So they taught you how to speak Wolg. Okay. Okay. Alright, looks like we, our pal can actually talk to a Tail Raider in, in the Horfrost Reach. So let's see. Uh, that's the Tail Raider signal. This one, we're going to change it up to uh, the cocktail. And we're going to be all the DPS we can get for Velikana at this level. Thank you, thank you. Damn, how many uh, register bounties I put it up there? Okay. All right, thank you. And for this fight, I'm gonna not use the temporal mantle. Instead, I'm gonna use the ice proof mantle. Well, actually, the glider mantle will be most ideal for this fight because the two decoration slots you can actually put into. So I think I'm gonna use the uh, blaze for our power up for 5% and plus 100 so this is going to be actually pretty powerful on it and I think I saw a mission over here let's see how do I burn up the map oh I can't because I'm actually okay let's do this you guys Velcana oh I forgot to switch out the items I'm so sorry Either way, we're fine. We've got some potions, we've got some uh, flash bombs. Oh, uh, and it's letting us do this, okay. Let's get the, uh, the Elder Dragon load out. But this time we're gonna use, not use this. We're not use this, we're not gonna use that. We are gonna use this. Uh, we are gonna use um, Mega Armor Skin, just one of them, and Mega Armor. Make a demon drug. My bad. And what else? Hot drinks. Hot drinks. Here we go. All right. Here we go. Eat a meal. Oh, good, good, uh, good stuff. Okay. 
Let's get our uh, attack boost and defense boost. Let's get our hot drinks. Usually the Falcana is gonna sight over here in this area. Don't worry, we can actually pick up the footprints when we uh, get close to it. But, uh, oh, Torah. Okay. No, I do not want to leave my Palco behind. Let's go, buddy. You got a lot to, to do. Let's follow the blue stones. Oh, and uh, let's call in our tail reader. Uh, let's see how we do that. Here we go. Ha ha, here we go. Okay. Let's get the rock steady mantle first. Print. A new path is open. Oh god. Oh yeah, that's right, I forgot. And there we level up. Here we go, cutscene. Now that's actually pretty cool. It looks beautiful. Oh. One of my favorite Elder Dragons here. Oh shit. Let's get him close to the wall. Okay, good. Uh, try to attack the tail. I'm gonna go after the tail this time. What? Why can I? Yeah, you saw that, right? I couldn't. I wonder where he dropped the. Uh... Alone. Oh, I keep attacking. Ain't hurting me that much. One, two, there we go. Break off that tail, come on. Ooh. That is killer right there. Okay. Time for plan B, we gotta get all out of here. Quick this.
Damn, dude. He's gonna do t not twice. Okay, he's gonna do once. Quickly get to the other side. He's like a little similar to the uh, to Dolphin Sock, like you know the the swipe attacks. Oh god. Stay down. Somehow my character got back up real quick. Let's try to mount him. Oh great. Yeah, he is not very happy about that. Quickly get it to the other side. If you can't, just clutch claw. Clutch claw it. Oh my god. Oh shit, get out of there. Right here, he's gonna do uh, the ring, the ring of ice right here. He's not cheap. There you go. When you wear that mantle, it's easier to mount the monster. Egg, by the way, and when you, the mantle is actually uh, running out of time, the cooldown is very short. That's why it's very useful to actually slot those two decorations and just go on it, dude. Just, it's useful. Very useful. Alright, broke apart. Let's go ahead and break that tail. I'm gonna do it for you guys. Here we go. What the? Where did I jump off to? Alright, I gotta go with the plan to actually stun Dalkana. Here we go. And I'm gonna hit the hit. Yeah, that's, that was not a pretty attack right there. Alright, let's drink a potion. And collect the footprints. Okay. Velcana. Come over here, buddy. I got something to show you. Actually, is that who I think it is? No, it's a green one. Oh, shit. And we broke off the tail. Back away. Let's go side to side. And stay down, and then get back up. Because Valkana is ruthless. He likes to dive if he can't get to the other side. Here we go. What the? Wow, that was. A Let's go ahead and quickly. And this one, you can dive on if you can, and get out of that area because he's gonna do the ring of ice right there. And this is where his burnt fumble, uh, fumble uh, moment that he doesn't have his ice shield anymore. So this, we're gonna get him close to the wall and try to get him. There we go. Let's 
try to like stun him out, maybe. Nope. Get him down, knocked out. Damn, dude. drinks. Damn, dude. Stay down till it's clicks clear. Cars. No, 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 no. I didn't mean to do that. Ooh, man. I dodged at the right moment. Holy crap. Here we go, we're going to do Colossus damage on it. Yeah, this is where uh, Valkana is very uh, agitated about this stuff. There you go. That was way too far off. Yeah, stay down. Stay down, come on. Ooh, man. All right, let's gather some of the parts. Let's see over here. Old dragon treasure, okay. Uh, let's see. It looks like Valkana is returning to the cave, so this is a best moment to actually get prepared for this fight. Let's see, can we make first aid man? No. Alright, so for a crafting list. Mega bear bombs. We're definitely gonna quickly do this because his head is vulnerable right now. Let's see, Tor is going to lay down his bombs as well. Alright. There we go. And I am... Yeah. That was a random attack I did not predict. So let's see if we can actually get him over here. Right now, um, he's at close to dying, and he's very quick on the attacks when he's that close to death. Oh, shit. And, whoops. This is 
not good. What you can do is click claw at his body and just stay right there. Just stay right there. And then quickly do your attacks before you run out of stamina. No, Valkana. Shit. Stay down until he does the attack. Alright, get back up. Stay really, really... Dodge it. Don't attack it. Just keep dodging it. Oh yeah, he is very agitated. Hopefully he goes down because my pal could lay down his bombs. There you go. Thank you so much, Tora. I, I think it's gonna it's gonna be a very easy fight. Here we go! Yay! Let's see what I got. All right. So here we are, the conclusion of the Iceborne Wyvern. Valkana is slayed. And there's more stories to come after this, you guys. This is not the end. Ah. Let's see. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> the bow bow how cleaners, oh my god. That was actually a pretty easy fight for my for my first time back then, like it took me a, quite a while. Oh, cutscene. Oh, wow. Then when they weather and fall off, it simply replaces them. Oh, man, that's cool. That's actually pretty cool, yeah. Oh, here we go. Nice. Things have calmed down around here. It would appear so. Then please, enlighten me on everything I've missed. And so, Legiana resumed her normal routine, and thus we were able to avoid complete disaster. Oh, impressive work. However, I have some troublesome news for you. I'd like to share that discovery. Uh oh. But before that, we discovered unnatural fault lines all over this place. Tons of them. 
What do you mean? Seismic. The old Everworm. There's a song. Something's happening. Watch out. So more stories to come. So let's go ahead and grab our, uh, our items and let's go ahead and call the conclusion to this episode. Damn, my bow bow level up pretty good. I can upgrade my armor even further. Okay. Just say one thing. The way everyone came together to overcome Valkana, it made me proud to be a part of this team. Outstanding work. That said, our work's not done. Report. I've been conducting an inquiry into the source of the mysterious song reported by the Fifth Fleet. And I've been doing my own separate investigation into the geological phenomenon we're now calling seismic actions. Together, We've realized that the most profound traces of seismic actions happen to be everywhere that the song's been heard. Hmm. They, they can't possibly be caused by the same thing, can they? Yep. The old Everworm. Of course, those might just turn out to be silly words written on a piece of old cloth. But I think whoever wrote them must have had the reasons. At any rate, we need to find more locations linking the song and the seismic actions. The two of us alone cannot cover enough ground. I agree. We should look into the link between these two phenomena. Now, what would you have us do? Hmm. I think the Fourth Fleet Hunter should lend a hand in investigating the song and the seismic actions. And as for the Fifth, I think it'd be best for them to focus their sights on monster behavior in each region. Just like with Leviana, it wouldn't surprise me if other monsters have started getting rowdy too. True. That old Everworm may have stirred up some of the more rambunctious customers here in the New World. I agree with the Chief's plan. If we follow that, then we've all got our parts to play. And we'd better play those parts well, or else by the time we discover the truth behind this old Everworm, it may already be too late. Okay, let's get to it. Okay, you guys, so this is the conclusion. Um, it is not over yet. We're going to be searching for the old Everworm. And now we get to take on real high difficulty uh, quest now. So let's go ahead and say thank you for watching this. I really appreciate your time. I'll see you guys later and GG's.